But anyways, let's go back to the things I like about the Juliet. Uh, I guess let's start from the front and back, I guess. The headlight, I really enjoy the ability of it at night. I also like the daytime use of it. Uh, as you can see, if you look back to one of my videos in the night ride, it's pretty bright. I prefer the low beam because of the wider spread. The uh, high beam, that might be useful if you're going at a faster rate, uh, but I don't travel like that at night, so. I'm not saying I won't, but you never know. But the, uh, I don't know if you can tell right now, but the uh, screen dims when I turn on the headlight and turn it off. You got your high beam, low beam switch over here. So, but it works kind of like a car or motorcycle. Well, more like a motorcycle because of the switches. But it's nice to have the running lights so you can be seen even during the daytime. just back there chilling out enjoying the ride uh, I guess the next thing I like is the uh, the four inch fat tires the uh, just being able to go off-road and not worry about getting stuck um, it's pretty similar to my dual sport motorcycle on the ability of that um, it looks like with the uh, greater usage of or greater weight on the trailer it's probably gonna wear the rear tire more so I'm probably gonna have to rotate it um, front to back on the tires so but I think that's probably good practice in general for bicycle tires because your front tire will typically not go bad for a very long time whereas the rear will lose its traction way ahead but anyways back to the four inch tire uh, sorry four inch tire it's definitely made it nice if you look back to some of my videos I've been out on snow and ice and then a little bit of mud it's been fine doesn't lose traction and it's been great uh, probably once these tires are done I'm going to switch to a motorcycle tire um, the Shinko 244 on the motorcycle tires you have to switch to a 3x16 tire because of the differences in how they measure bicycle tires versus motorcycle tires so a 4x20 becomes a 3x16 but those those should last incredibly long on a bicycle they may put a little bit more stress on the motor but they'll wear for a long time and the battery usage on on it shouldn't be very much more than what it is on just in general with the Juliet you've got such huge range it probably doesn't matter but we'll see when I switch to them I'll let you guys know The, uh, another from the front, the uh, disc brakes I really like. I've never had disc brakes before on a bicycle, so even on the racing mountain bike that I had before, I didn't have disc brakes. Um, they're incredibly nice. The hydraulics, I think it makes them nicer than uh, mechanical. Probably the mechanical would require a lot more adjusting and, and I'm not sure how well they would wear on the disc pads. The, uh, speaking about the disc brakes, when I first got the bike, I took it out for a test ride and I had an issue with the uh, front making a pretty serious noise and starting to drag. Um, but I, I contacted Eohora and they, uh, they took care of everything pretty quickly. They, I was trying to find videos on how to adjust it better on YouTube and I couldn't find anything that was making it, doing it right. 
the uh what buddy you okay back there hmm? I interrupting your talk on that right so the uh i contacted them and the they're in china so it takes a little bit of time but that night i, I think i sent the question around 8 p.m or 9 p.m and i got a response back around midnight or one um so it was super quick they've been helpful um i don't think i've had any other issues with it um yeah i think that's it i've had a lot of communication back and forth with milo in their customer service and then um just contacting back and forth about the bike what i like um, some of the stuff that i think could be improved um, we'll skip the battery for now uh, Let's see. Uh, hmm. I like the tail light. Um, it's it's nice to have the brakes so people can see you. Um, the running of it, it doesn't run while you're just your regular lights on. You have to turn the headlight on. So maybe there you can see the tail lights on. But. Feels like we're getting a little bit of rain slash snow, maybe a little sleep. I think I may put the top on for you, Bongo. Yeah. Hmm. Gonna be one of those rides, buddy. Get to see how that goes. Hmm. So, yeah, that's the the uh, rear rack. That's nice to be able to mount to. Um, I've got both the rack and then the uh, the saddlebags or pannier bags. Um, there, that's really nice to have. Um, it'd be nice if you could use the basket at the same time as the saddlebags, but it's it would require some modification of the saddlebags. Um, so yeah, let's get rolling just in case it starts raining too much. Um, the battery we'll get to that that's a huge 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 battery and if if you've been around e-bikes very long you know that the price of the e-bike is super dependent on the size of the battery or the battery in general so when you've got a battery that's 60 amp hours which is pretty uncommon in the market it's going to be pretty expensive or the major proportion of the the bike cost but that huge range i have zero range anxiety even probably with pulling this trailer so this may quickly turn into a ride that's not very pleasant but the uh Let's see, things I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, well, let's start with the switches here. For some reason, I tend to hit the, uh, I hit the uh, high beam, low beam all the time. And I'm worried that when the high beam's on, I'm blinding people on the trails, but I don't know if that's the case or not because I've never had anybody mention it. I also tend to bump the horn quite a bit, so. That's problematic. Um, the front suspension or suspension, people mention that it's kind of, uh, I don't know, not appropriate to this kind of bike, I guess. But it's a spring spring suspension. It has a preload and, and something else adjuster. But those are pretty much useless on the adjusters, or at least I haven't noticed anything. Um, but the springs, I, I've never had any issues on off-road or on the road with how the suspension reacts. It does bottom out, but any suspension on a bicycle or motorcycle will bottom out depending on the circumstances. This isn't necessarily the best off-road bike. It's not, I don't think it's designed for that particularly. 
so but anyways i think the suspension is more than adequate if you were to upgrade it later i think it would be a good benefit to the bike so um let's see go off some off-road but as you can see the bike handles stuff like that especially the four inch tires once you have to get off the trail to get out of the way of somebody or get around somebody it's very nice let's see what else the pedals I'm not a huge fan of I think they could have more grip because I tend to wear shoes that aren't or at least this this pair of boots that I usually wear don't have a huge amount of traction on them so they don't quite catch and then when the pedals get wet then your feet start to slip uh, well that's probably just me uh, what else what else the rear suspension I have had zero problems with um, it could use i guess hydraulic shocks or air shocks but i don't see any need for that they did upgrade that in the juliet 2 to some different kind of formation i'm not even sure what that one's kind of called um, the seat is something particular to me i like this style of seat um, the other style it kind of messes with my rear end too much <laughs> not to say what have you um, it is comfortable probably if you rode this bike more as a scooter it would be less problematic but me is pedaling I'm, I'm not a huge fan of it um, if you do add a saddle and it has these kind of springs it helps a fair amount too um, you can also get seat posts with a shock in it or suspension but otherwise I really like the bike